turn now to your pinpoint weather 12 forecast. Take a look at this. Some late season snow. No, this is not around here. It's in Colorado in the higher elevations. It happened this morning. Brandon Williams filmed this in slow motion just west of Denver. The weather is expected to continue there over the next several days. And Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is in the weather center. Tony, certainly not the uh, the case here. In fact, we are under alert right now for a different kind of stormy weather. Yeah, it's a, a severe thunderstorm warning. It's a very localized storm. If you're watching us up towards uh, Killingly, Connecticut, uh, the Foster Gloucester area uh, on Doppler radar, we're, we're seeing the storm right now and we're seeing signals of, of it having the potential to produce uh, some hail. We had some reports of hail in, in Killingly, Connecticut. Now looking over in Providence, we are dry, but when we look north and west, you can see some of those darker skies. So naturally we're going to start with Doppler radar and the, the vivid areas of, of red and purple, that is your severe thunderstorm. There's a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for this cell, which is on the Connecticut, Rhode Island border right now. Some strong, potentially damaging gusty wind, hail, and some downpours. It's this red polygon right in here. Now, this is until 445. Most of our area right now is void of any rain or thunder to give you an idea of how though strong and severe how uh, localized this system is. So it's this red polygon right in here. It does include now uh, Western uh, Kent County, Western Coventry it is moving right on top of Route 6 right now. This is Route 44, and this is essentially uh, the Foster Gloucester area. This is heading towards Clayville uh, and Situate and towards the Situate Reservoir uh, very shortly as it tracks off now uh, to the east and southeast. It's had a history of a lot of lightning uh, and some hail. Now, note the colors of uh, purple right in here. We do have an algorithm within the Doppler radar that can detect hail, so I'm going to remove the actual rain echoes. Let me see if I can do that right in here. And it's this purple area right in here. This is the red flag right in here. This area in purple. This is more than likely where the hail is occurring uh, along Route 6 right now. And you can see the numerous cloud to ground lightning uh, strikes. So we're seeing strong signal uh, for hail with this storm as it tracks uh, to the east and southeast. And again, this red polygon represents uh, the severe thunderstorm warning until uh, 445. Outside of this storm, it is fairly quiet, but other locations will see some showers and some isolated thunder storms. I do expect as these storms approach the southern part of the state and along the south shore, they'll, they'll still hold together, but they should weaken. So we'll keep you updated. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at, well, there you go. I'll step out of the way. And this is North Situate. I uh, just saw a flash of lightning there. This is the intersection of of a 101 and 102, kind of hard to see with the, the very dark skies. You can see the, the sky kind of flashing uh, with some lightning as well. So it's currently passing through North Situate right now. Now in Lincoln, no precipitation or storms, though you can see uh, the darker skies that have taken over. So our threat tracker is elevated. Uh, weather alert now through, I would say, at least 7 o'clock in the evening. It'll still shower after 7 o'clock. I think the risk of any thunder should be done by then. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, while they're not stormy days, unfortunately, they are dramatically, sharply cooler and gray uh, with these occasional showers and some drizzle. So the evening showers and thunder for a few more hours and talk about an unsettled weekend, sharply cooler. We're talking about temperatures only in the 50s uh, with sprinkles or occasional uh, light showers. Unfortunately, uh, both Saturday and Sunday, and even though we were well into the 80s, starting this weekend into early next week, uh, summer has been put on hold. You can see where the, the storms are going on right now. The temperatures have cooled a little bit, but a lot of us did make it up well into the 80s. We are tracking this blue line. It is a backdoor cold front that will drop down this evening, and it really means business as far as knocking down the temperatures for this weekend. So a few more hours of showers and thunder, and then thereafter we'll taper to more of a lighter rain shower activity for the uh, the early part of the evening and then unsettled uh, both Saturday and Sunday. We've been you know, sort of hinting at this now for the last uh, several days. Look at these temperatures, how unusual they are uh, for, for this time of year, early June with daytime highs only in the middle to upper 50s. Again, the weekend is not stormy, but it is damp, breezy and raw for this time of year, and that will extend into early next week. In the meantime, be watching us in the northwest part of the state. Severe thunderstorm warning until 445.